Moving on to the next topic. Oh, the next topic. Here we go. AMD Ryzen 6000 Rembrandt APUs are allegedly in mass production. Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Please note this post is tagged as a rumor. Uh, let's see. Um, AMD AP series based on updated Zen 3 architecture, Zen 3 Plus, might already be in mass production. The leak further claims that AMD's packaging plants in China will have six more products ready to launch in the first half of 2022. I just got to interrupt you here for a second. One, go. Do you notice at the top that it says Zen 3 plus Navi 2? The current 5700G is Zen 3 plus Vega. Oh, that's true. And Vega sucks. So hopefully this will be better. This will be Zen 3 plus, like Zen 3 refresh. Whether it has the 3DB cache or not, I don't know. But if it does, that might be very helpful. We'll see if it's helpful for the integrated graphics. But if this has RDNA 2 integrated graphics instead of Vega graphics. Wee See, I've not been excited about the 5700G because it's well, no, Vega it's got sucks. the Vega graphics on it. And they're just, it's, I mean, a GT1030 would be a better, better video card. So, if this is Navi 2, and this is coming in the spring. It says here that, are they going to support DDR5 memory? No, this is on uh, AM, this is on um, uh, AM, AM4. So the next AP, so Zen 4 APs. That's saying it had already appeared. Who knows? Maybe they'll bring the chipset early and put it on DDR5. The benefit to DDR5 would be the memory bandwidth, which would help integrated graphics a lot. My understanding is it that would. the 6000 series is on AM4, and it's a refresh of, of Zen 3. AMD has made no official statements. So that's why it says this post is tagged as a rumor at the top. Correct. So... So CES 2022, I guess we'll get to find out what they're going to do. Well, because AM5 is not ready as far as I know. And AM5, as far as I've heard, is DDR5 only. And DDR5 is expensive. And all the value savings of getting an APU are kind of going to be torpedoed. These will if, be on 6 nanometer then? So it says, sweetie. Yes. If you have to spend three hundred dollars to buy your DDR5 RAM, that sort of defeats the point. Just a little bit. Pull up the picture. Ian says no V cache on APUs. Right now. Um, well, since Ian's here, have you heard about whether or not these Rembrandt chips are going to be on um, AM4 or AM5? I thought they were going to be on AM4, but they can't be if they're DDR5 because that's not going to happen. So I'm curious what you've heard because I've, my understanding, but they've made no official announcements and so it could be whatever. It can. Better integrated graphics would be news. There's a lot of people out there who'd be perfectly happy with Something better than Vega, but not as good as the 6600 XT. Just looking at the chart, it doesn't look like they're going to do 3D on the APUs. I think that the 3D cache is going to be one of those very situational things. Yeah. Where it's... It will be very helpful for certain workloads, but mean nothing to others. I've seen a lot of people saying that they don't want to buy Ryzen 9 now because they're waiting for 3DV cache. Fine, but we don't know the price, we don't know availability, and we don't know how much of a difference it'll make in normal consumer applications. It's a lot of extra dye. Are they going to charge a lot more for it? Of course they are. He says he thinks it's a load of BS. Well, here's the thing. Some of the stuff posted to video cards and WCCF mm. tech is baloney. But they do get it right sometimes. They do. Are you looking at the 3 nanometers Zen 5s? 
Yeah, you've got Zen 5 and Zen 4D. Interesting they've got 4D there. Words. All of this is five bucks on eBay in 10 years. It all seems impressive the day it comes out. Do you guys all remember when, when Ryzen 1 came out? And then the 8700K and then the 9900K and that was all very exciting. Today it's all very pedestrian. Um, he said, unlikely AMD would launch AM5 with APUs first. That's why I think these are going to be AM4. It, well, it fits what they've done previously. Um, Ian, I will say this point. There's one reason why they might want to launch the APUs first. There is a ridiculous amount of demand for CPUs with integrated graphics that are decent. They will sell them in volume. If the Navi 2 on the 6700G is decent, it's true. they will sell all of them. That's, that's the big single, because I mean, AMD is not dumb. Dr. Lisa Su is fully aware that the pent-up demand for graphics ability is crazy. Mm -hmm. So maybe they weren't planning on doing it that quickly, but they've brought it forward. They've shifted engineering resources around and said, let's prioritize getting these APUs done. They'll sell every single Because one we'll sell them. everyone we can make. Notice that when the 5700G launched, it's never been out of stock. I've never seen it out of stock. Nobody's interested. Well, no, it's got Vega crap graphics on it. Right, but it launched and it was in stock on day one and it's always been in stock. At least on Newegg and Amazon. I, I, maybe it's gone out of stock somewhere well, else. Ian would know about that. <clears throat> well, we get to wait till CES. <laughs> are any GPUs manufactured in the USA? <laughs> 1992 called and wants you back. Oh, do you have anything else to add about this? Uh -uh. It's a rumor. We'll see. I'm excited about RDNA 2 on integrated graphics. We'll see. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.